Saydale High School football players and parents are defending the head football coach tonight after the school placed him on administrative leave. Coach Austin Stubbs resigned after a football practice ended last week when Polk County deputies showed up. KCCI's Laura Terrell is live tonight to explain why so many people are supporting Coach Stubbs. That's right, this all stems from a practice last week where several players called their parents to say the coach was punishing them with rigorous physical activity. Bull County deputies were called, no charges were filed, and now players and parents are coming to the coach's defense saying he never put them in harm's way. There's a lot of things that have been blown out of proportion. Steve Roberts' son is the quarterback at Sadell High School. He's speaking out in support of head football coach Austin Stubbs after a practice last week spurred a lot of backlash. I want to get out there that coach did not put those kids in harm. He, he, he did not mistreat those kids. Last Thursday, a few players called their parents, claiming Stubbs was overworking them in practice because he thought someone stole $100 out of his wallet. My son said he ran up and down the football field about 20 times. He was also making um, injured players hold 20-pound bags over their heads. Amanda Boyer told KCCI on Monday that she thinks Stubbs should lose his job because of what her son went through. You don't expect to send your kids to school to their practice and then come home crying. But these two seniors on the football team were there and say their coach acted appropriately and reasonably. No, it was definitely reasonable. Um, someone did steal the money. So it was justified. Austin Challey, a senior and wide receiver on the team, says Stubbs only had them jog for 15 minutes and injured players were not forced to do anything. The players who were not able to uh, not able to run that had leg injuries that were cleared to do some upper body stuff, they were asked to hold the bags and they were asked for permission if they would like to or not. The district confirms it is investigating what happened but won't give any details since it's a personnel matter. Players say Stubbs called each of them the following day to let them know he resigned. The coach is like, listen, Judd, I will still help you. I will help you. I will get a hold of the colleges. For those of you that want to go to that next level, let me know and I will do everything I can to help you guys out. He's no longer his coach, right? So what, what's that show as a person right there that he's still willing to help these kids out? And the Polk County Sheriff's Office tells us no charges will be filed. They say this is purely a school matter. Now, players tell us not only did Stubbs resign, but so did his father and brother, who are all were all paid coaching staff. We talked to Stubbs on the phone tonight. He declined an interview saying legal advice told him not to say anything publicly. Reporting live outside Seidel Schools tonight, Laura Terrell, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.